Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video I'm going to be playing something a little bit different because we are basically deep into zoo format at this point. So I actually start, wanted to start like taking a little bit more of a closer look at cards that we're going to be getting for Maximum Crisis. And so I decided to play the, uh, the True King Zoo deck that has been doing very well in the OCG uh, as of the previous uh, couple of weeks. Now, it has been uh, doing some pretty decent, uh, some pretty decent uh, stuff in terms of it's uh, placing but uh, so I could pop literally nothing that's very nice to know <laughs> I didn't draw my field spell um, that's a kick in the ass um, but so I can activate this tribute for this and then I could no I can activate the succession drawing a single card and hopefully that unbricks my hand <laughs> come on Ghost Ogre? No way. Okay. Um, it actually unbricked my hand. What a fucking masterpiece. Alright. Uh, so what I can do is that I can uh, summon this and then it will uh, be able to... It will be able to be popped with my Thruking Lithosagum. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to put it on board. Uh, summon using a continuous spell and trap. Hell yeah. Um, so we'll do that. Then I'll activate this. Pop in this and pop in this. Uh, because this is going to get the trap anyway. So what is this thing's stats? It's uh, it's 25 over 23. So yeah, we'll put it in attack mode. The Darius will activate. And then so will the uh, Miramune. And so I'll be able to search one. And then this will also allow me to uh, summon a card. So I'll uh, do this chain link one, chain link two. Uh, just because might as well, right? Uh, so to special summon, I will probably just go for Agnimas, just because it's huge, because I'm going to overlay into it. Yeah. Um, if this tribute summoned, so it, it wouldn't be tribute summoned, so there's there's no point in me uh, searching it. Although, um, now I don't have any continuous spells and traps, so there's literally no point um, in me doing anything there. Uh, so what I'll do is I will literally just search for um, for uh, Bastard Man, Bastros, and that way I'll be able to hopefully not just lose to my VFD going away. Uh, maybe um, this is a, this was a horrible situation of plays. Um, <laughs> definitely wish I had like the Bow Baboon or uh, or the um, or the other cards to. Just be a thing. I'm just gonna call Earth. It literally does not matter. Um, it could not matter less, in fact, because it just changes the cards. Um, well, yes, yeah, so I'll activate this to uh, to put the trap on my board. Uh, no, put it on the board. Yes. Um, and so the VFD still resolved. And the thing is, is that currently, its wording in the community is that it does not have to remain face up in order to. Uh, in order for anything to happen, so set to pass. Very interesting. Um, very interesting that that was the choice of play line. I find that very strange. Uh, but I've got a water, which means that um, I can just bring this back, and that way this can uh, this can summon stuff from grave. And I drew this, which is pretty all right. Uh, this is you can only, you cannot search some of the monsters for the rest of the turn, even if this card leaves the field. So. Uh, this can pop, what, monsters, if I remember correctly? Um, yeah, you can target a monster on the field and destroy it. Uh, so I really don't actually care for doing that. <laughs> if I'm being completely serious. Um, while well, you control this tribute summoned card. What a kick in my ass. Um, you can add one true Draco or true king monster from your deck to your hand. Um, I really just want to keep this on the board so that I keep grinding with it, but then again, I don't really need to because as soon as my opponent activates a card effect, I can just uh, I can just get another copy of it. Um, so yeah, we'll do this. Uh, no, I do not wish to. Yes, actually, do I? Do I want to destroy? Because then I can destroy this. Um, it's destroy a monster on the field, though, right? Yes. Never mind. I haven't read these cards in a solid couple of weeks, so like, bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, literally, the next time a card or effect is activated, um, I'll be able to replace the trap on my board, and then I will also uh, be able 
to um, to do some stuff. I'll be able to get the trap and I'll be able to search a card. That way at least things will be at least somewhat in my favor um, in terms of how that's structured and uh, stuff like that. This is level 5, this is level 6, so I can't like make any cheeky like Xyz plays, but I think the only rank 6 I have is Utopia Beyond anyway, um, to be a bit win more, I guess you could call it. Um, but uh, yeah, this adds to hand, this puts the trap, so I'm fine with leaving my board as is, because as long as I get the trap card, uh, that'll be fine. So I'll be able to get the trap card, and then this will be able to get one of the monsters, which I can then immediately tribute summon, um, and so that would be pretty good. Fuck! Well then, um, this is gonna be a slight problem. Um, I guess I'm just gonna get this trap card then. Uh, no, don't add the card to my hand, please. Um, so this is gonna happen. Um, bringing back one of my dudes, meaning trying to survive. Uh, huh, that was bad. And now that means I can't activate this. Oh no! <laughs> Oh my! Um, so this has to be a tribute summoned card, so there's no point in bringing it back. I could just bring back uh, Miramune, uh, so that if it's destroyed, it gives me a search. Um, so uh, a Maria Mune, excuse me, Miramune, Maria Mune. Um, so now he's going to be able to go Terra Top into stuff. Um, really? Why is this giving me the option to even do anything? I'm confused. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out one way or another. I've already special summoned this turn, so... Oh! Special summon monsters for the rest of this turn! Hell yeah! That one word that I'm really, really struggling to see because of the fact that, uh, that my, um... that my, uh, vision is very blurred right now. It is really late at night, and I didn't expect to be doing this this late however it's fine because I mean it's fine <laughs> um, it's just it's it's just fine uh, but so I can use this at least the end of the turn so that's very very good um, okay so Dante again okay so he's playing the same deck from last time maybe um, the the uh, the thing goes I don't know I don't know exactly who's playing I didn't see tour guide last time so he might just actually just be playing straight BA this time. Like, straight PK BA. Because the last game we played, the last match we played, he was playing PK Zoo. Which I also think is an inferior combination. I'm a huge fan of Burning Abyss Zoo. And I've been telling him this because he loves Burning Abyss decks in our Discord chat. I've been telling him that I love it for the concept of, you make Beatrice, if Beatrice dies, okay then. Ah! Invoker! Okay. So Invoker is in his deck, so he's playing... What is this? PK BA Zoo? No? Or just BA Zoo? Have I seen a PK card? Why am I assuming it's PK Fire? Um, he's playing BA Zoo, which is a deck I'm a really big advocate of. I really love it, because like, what's the downfall of Burning Abyss cards? Is that Seer's at one now. Oops! But guess what you get to do with the Zoo cards? Make infinite Digesto Emeralds, which means you get to put back your Beatrice, you get to put back your tour guide, you get to put back all your shit. And it becomes really handy. The handy dandy notebook. Um, so what happens here is that he can't get over this Miramune uh, as it stands. Which means that he has to pop it. Which means if he does pop it, I get to search. That's pretty economical for me. Um, but otherwise... So yeah, I'm so glad that he's playing this deck. I am such a big fan of this deck. I've been playing this deck a lot on my own personal time. Um, and I was planning on doing a video for it eventually. Um, like, this deck is incredible to me because it's just like you're you're doing all the floater shit with BA. And the thing is, like, you can do BA plays while you have the zoo stuff on board because you can just play Fiendish Rhino Warrior. I don't know if he's playing it. I never brought it up, so I don't know um, if he put two and two together there. But you can summon Fiendish Rhino Warrior. Then you can just start specialing BAs from hand, and then that happens to make MX Saber Invoker. Like, your natural line of play with BA cards makes Dante and Invoker. And Invoker makes your Zoo plays, which makes your Dryden and makes your Emerald. Like, it's such a it's such a strong string of play that, uh, that I really am a fan of. A huge fan. Uh, because, like I said, it puts back your limited cards. It puts back your Beatrice after it dies, or gets Kaijued. 
it puts back your seer, it puts back all your farfas, it literally makes your disruption and your floating engine infinite, and that's something that is a huge asset to the game of Yugi's. Um, but so, is my Miramune about to get banished? I don't like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't think it's going to get banished because he's at 700 life. Um, if he suicides with a fucking whip-tailed Dryden't into the Miramune, then goddamn, he was such a man. Oh my god, why does he always put Dryden't in attack mode? Stop it! <laughs> You're opening yourself up to lose! Stop! Stop this madness! Ah! Stop it! Can't resist the rage. Can't resist the power. Unlimited power. Um, okay, so he's gonna do this. Mill cards. Yeah, yeah. Farfa! What the fuck? <laughs> what an amazing mill! Skarm, Alec, and Farfa? Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> god damn! Oh, well at least that's gonna go away, meaning I can just summon something off of this and not die this exact moment. Oh. Fuck me! What a goddamn card to mill! Oh, Jesus. And it's not even like he meant for that to happen either. The Graph is under the Invoker. He could have Invoker detached Graph and summoned Farfa and would have died and gotten rid of my Miramune anyway. Like, it's not like he meant for that to happen. <laughs> he just casually just milled the fucking Farfa. I'm so confused. Um, alright. Enough, enough discouraging, enough, enough freaking out. That's the word I'm looking for. Enough freaking out. I'm gonna start looking at this. Okay, I can actually read. Strangely enough, <laughs> because I'm recording through OBS, right? I've got my two screens set up because I'm finally back home. And so I've got my laptop screen, which I'm playing on in full screen Yu Gi Oh! Pro. And then I've also got OBS on my external monitor, which is a big ass monitor and it's got nice, it's a Dell, it's nice and it's got vibrant colors. It's a really good Dell monitor. Um, and its colors are really vibrant compared to my laptop, and I'm looking at the screen through OBS. And I can actually read the cards, and I've, and I've got a bigger, even though OBS takes up a portion of my screen in terms of its bordering the window that I'm recording in, um, it's still, uh, it's still just, um, it still just shows as a, uh, as a rather, like, what am I trying to say? It shows Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro as a much, as a bigger window than it actually is, um, and, like, that's actually just really good for me. I'm just going to summon this. Um, this hasn't used its floater effect yet. Um, so, if he uses... Uh, okay! This card has a floating effect! <laughs> or not a floating effect, just a, a effect that gets your shit off the board. Um, so I'll get rid of this. Easy. This is the only card that I'm worried about. Um, so now, I'm going to take these... But yeah, so like I'm saying, like I was originally saying, my OBS uh, platform that I'm recording through, I've got it set up on my alternate, uh, my external monitor. I'm looking at it, and the colors are so much more vibrant, and the screen for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro is about the same size, if not bigger, um, because of how I've got it set up recording, um, and the settings for OBS. And so I can actually read things better on the screen that I'm recording through rather than the screen I'm playing on, because my eyes are really blurry right now because it's really late at night, as I've already said. Um... But, uh, but the thing here that's going on is that, like, because the color is so much brighter, like, I can tell, like, what words are and where they are and stuff like that. So it's actually really weird, um, looking at it. But I've only got to do 700 damage, mate. Um, this is going to be not the best time to be alive because all I have to do is attack with this. Um, oh my god. Mm, I wanna... I wanna do it! I wanna do it! Come on! I wanna normal summon this card! Fuck. Alright. Well, push comes to shove. Attack Invoker for game. 
try to at least. See if he has another Farfa. Yeah! My man! He has the Farfa! Alright. Uh, so Farfa on this. Pretty self-exclamatory. Pretty simple. Um, but now next turn, the thing is his board is kind of clogged, meaning he can't really do a Zodiac play. So, I don't know. I don't know if I lose next turn or not. I mean, I hope I do. I hope we can just go to game two and I can open better, and then I can actually play this deck to the capabilities that it's meant to be played. So, I mean, I guess there's that. But, uh, but okay, so now I've, I've literally just transitioned to looking at my, uh, at my OBS screen. Oh, he drew the Farfa, so now he's using it to discard this. Alright, so Farfa, yeah, get rid of this, and now I just lose. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. Alright, so uh, now we're going to go into the next game, because this game is 15 minutes long. Holy shit! Um, fuck me. But, uh, but so we're going to go into the next game. He's saving his replay and naming it, but at this point I've just transitioned into... I'm, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter what screen I'm looking at, but I'm literally watching the OBS screen for recording for playing because I can see my mouse cursor on it. Uh, so, I mean, there's, there's a slight little bit of delay. Uh, but at this point, I think it's just fine. Um, okay, so I've got Terraforming, and I've got this card, which is fantastic, in fact, I believe you'll find. Uh, because what I can do is that I can then go Dragonic Diagram, uh, popping this card, the Miramune, and I can set up a uh, True Draco Succession for a good bit of cards. Or not! Or fucking not! Or not! Oh, my entire hand is dead now. In turn! <laughs> wow! Alright. Got the Ghost Ogre legitimately every game. I almost want to just salty scoop this one, but that's not who I am. Um, oh, man. Even through the rage, even through the, through the nonsense that I deal with, all of this rage bottled up in this fucking cage that I call a mind. Ah. Uh, God. Ghost Ogre! It's not Ogre until it's Ogre, but he always has fucking Ghost Ogre. Every game we play, he has Ghost Ogre. How the fuck am I supposed to play around this card? It can't be played around. Not with uh, activating a fucking field spell. <laughs> ah, my play string was so cool that turn, too. It was activate Dragonic Diagram, pop Miramune, add Darius, the third, apparently. Um, <laughs> apparently he's the third in line. Um, then off of this, I'd add the, uh, the Bastaros. I would pop the Bastaros and the, uh, the Darius, the Darian man, or whatever his name is, to summon the, uh, Lithosasm. And then I'd be able to get two out of deck, meaning I'd be able to make VFD. And then I would be able to use disciples of the true Draco. I would I would use disciples of the true Draco Phoenix to uh, to summon said uh, said Darian man. And then I would have been able to go true Draco succession, draw two cards, and then it would have just been easy because I would have cycled through cards, and it would have been fine, and it would have been great, and it would have been dandy. But nah, dried into an attack mode. But this time it gets a pass because he's gonna attack me with it this time. At least I hope so. Did he start to whip tail? Yes, he did. Or at least I hope. I think he did. I don't know. Um, certainly looks like he did. Either that or he had it. Um, yeah, that that uh, that definitely looks like a search. No. Um, looking, looking, looking. I don't see anything that says anything about what he searched off off of it. So he has three materials under this. Okay, so he just drew it. All right. Bow baboon. This card does not solve the problem of my hand is dead. My hand is literally dead. <laughs> this OCG deck list is fucking weird. All right. So what we got to do is we got to normal summon this and use this to shuffle a draw a card and shuffle a card back and hope to fucking Christ that it's not a duplicate true Draco succession. Ah. Ah, feels so good to surrender, to surrender, even though that's not who I am, like I've already said, that's not something I do, I, I'm very much against the idea of scooping, unless the game is literally unwinnable, in which case it is, and I'm not trying to waste you guys' time, 
nor my own, because it is 1.30 in the morning, and that is not what I'm trying to play with. Alright, guess who didn't draw the field spell that he plays six of? This guy, this guy right here, and guess what, my hand is actually okay. This is okay is a very loose term. Um, I can activate this, popping this, popping this. This will add this back, which means I can then summon this. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm just summoning this card so it's on the board so you have to pop it. That's yeah, fine. Eh, it's fine. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just putting this in grave so that I can have something to summon off of the trap that this guy is going to get me. Um, I'm freaking out. This is not the way this is supposed to go. No. Why? Why me? Oh, God. Uh, but at least what I can do is I can activate this and I can put this on the field. And this is very important because this is in my hand. And so what it means is that it means that I'll be able to use my floating effect to summon the Agnimazd from Grave, yes, and then what I'll be able to do after that is use its effect to tribute summon on opponent turn, yes. And then when I tribute on opponent's turn, it allowed me to Pop card, yes, and then if your opponent activates effect, I get to add trucking card, and it become very, very advantageous for me. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, nor why I went there. However, I don't feel good about it. So he's normal Skarm, special Libic. All right, special little bitch. Um, so now he's going to make Invoker, I'm expecting. And so, from here, I will activate this card to special summon my Ignimaz Zivinishia. Um, and I can't activate these in the same chain, but I can activate it now. And so I will activate it now, summoning this by tributing a Continuous card. So this gets on the board, this activates, Popping the Invoker, God bless America. And so now when he activates the Dante's effect to mill cards, this card is going to trigger, adding me a card before it dies. Whoa, but it can't add Dragonic Diagram, and that's like the card I want most. So shit, god damn, fuck me, right? This is not going good. This is not going well at all. This, this, if this is what I have to look forward to at a Maximum Crisis with this Zodiac True King deck, because this is literally a deck list that I lifted straight from the OCG and then just did a tiny bit of changing to it to make it legal for TCG play, like removing Harpy's Feather Duster. And like, I even added more True King cards. Like, I added more of the big True Kings. The build that I took to start playing had so few True King cards. It was actually just the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever seen in terms of how few true king cards there were actually in the deck. It was ridiculous. Um, but, I mean, still, it's not something I'm proud of. Um, so what I'm going to get here is that I can add a, uh, I can add, what, a true king monster? Really? Oh, it does restrict me to only monsters. That's dumb. I thought I could at least search, like, one of the continuous spells or traps. Um, but yeah, like, I had to add more of these big guys, because, like, there was, like, literally, like, one of each, except for the wind one, and then there was, like, two of it. And I was like, eh. There's still a really low count of monsters in this deck. Let's not be real. Let's, let's be totally real, in fact. Um, let's not be, uh, let's not be too insane. Um, what do I want? I want the, uh, I want the wind one. Where is the wind one? Where, where, where? Where? Wait, what am I saying? I want the fire one. I'm, I'm, uh, um, because then I can pop this, pop this, and then things will start getting insane. Uh, but so he's setting one, passing turn, Skarm is going to search Tour Guide, that is fine. Um, that is fine for me, that is Bow Baboon. 
Babo baboon. Vanity's emptiness. Vanity's emptiness. I'll activate this. I will activate this card right here, right now. In fact, I believe you'll find. Um, I can just turn this to attack mode, and I can attack into your Beatrice. And you'll send Farfa, yes, I'm pretty sure you will, but I mean, why? Why are you doing that now? Alright, well, I guess I'll add another card. <laughs> the, the emptiness is going to get turned off, my man. Um, I mean, <laughs> you've done this to yourself. Um, I feel like... Uh, I feel like I use this card effectively here, but I also feel like it would be a big, big, big waste of my time. Um, I definitely want this card, though. I definitely want it. And then this will put the trap on board. Yep, yep. This will be fine. Um. Uh, no. I will put it face up on the field. Thank you. I don't know why there's even an option added to your hand. You're literally always going to put it face up on the field. <laughs> um, like, that's, that's not even a factor. Um, this emptiness is not going to die. That is right. It does not do that. But what I do get to do is I get to, uh, I should have definitely searched the, uh, the master thing, man. <laughs> or the, uh, the masterpiece. Because then I could have tributed with the trap and one of these dudes. Man, hindsight sure as fuck is 2020, isn't it? Um, like, goddamn. Okay, so this is that one. Um, and I'm gonna just put it back. Like, honestly. Yeah, I think I am. Uh, place on bottom. I can access this with this one. So I'm definitely not too worried about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I should have just 100% just got the, uh, the big boss monster, the masterpiece, dude. Because I, whoa, um, I just got outplayed. I just got out-fucking-played by myself. Uh, so this emptiness stays here. This Beatrice can farfa another thing. He's got tour guide in his hand, which, I mean, I guess is fine. <sighs> Uh, as soon as he activates an effect, I'll be able to use this to add one of the tiny tributes to hand. Um, or not even the tiny tribute. I could actually just add um, the big motherfucker uh, to hand. And then tribute it with this card, popping multiple things. Um, so, like, this is actually this is actually still just fine. Um, like, super fine, yeah. Masterpiece. Come here, my man. We're gonna go on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tribute these small motherfuckers, and then we're gonna go on an adventure. Um, so what we'll do here is I am going to allow that to resolve, and as soon as he starts stacking up into thingos, um, so as soon as he summons the second one, I'm going to just get rid of it. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Um, so yes, we'll activate this, activate, um, and I'm going to normal summon this by tributing this, and I'm going to leave that bow baboon. Don't you believe that I, don't you, I bet you, bet you think I won't, but I'm going to, um, continue spells and traps, I'll do this, and I will get rid of this thing, because it doesn't actually matter, even though it's giving me a lot of cards, this one doesn't actually matter, because all my traps are in grave, um, so yeah. We'll do this, uh, and then this thing will activate, pop this, and now this is unaffected by monster and trap. Um, so this is actually insanely strong here. Um, but watch me get Raigekied, right? I mean, come on, man. Watch me get Raigekied. It'll be easy. Um, <laughs> it'll be super duper easy, man. Just watch. I'm telling you, it's coming. Don't you believe me? After all that we've been through? <sighs> I'm actually having not too good of a time. <laughs> I feel like I just need to personalize this deck very heavily into my own image. And that is probably going to include making it 45 cards. Because there needs to be more big true kings in this deck. Um, 
there definitely needs to be. Uh, but so this is gonna what attack my it's attacking that. Um, sure. Yeah, sure. That actually works very well for me. That actually frees up space. That actually frees up a lot of space. Um, now this can destroy cards on the board, so that's actually really important. I'm actually saving its effect here because I'm going to use it whenever he sets back row. Uh, and then next turn, even though it's immune to traps, I mean I would love for this to just deal with all of his cards. Um, and then, so what I'm, since this has already used its effect, what I'm going to do is that, oh, really? Very interesting, very interesting choice. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check what's under here. Literally just those, so not even like a Dante. Oh, it looks really juicy. Oh, we're going to do it. Juicy as fuck. We're going to pop this. He's going to get to float into his big pilgrim, which I actually don't give a shit about. <laughs> and this is going to do something. Send a card. I don't fucking know. Um, this is immune to monsters, so this is all I care about. Um, so he's going to be able to, what, send Seer, I guess? Maybe? That's probably the best one to send, because Seer can float back for a monster. Um can float back for Dante, and then he'll summon Dante Pilgrim, maybe? I don't know. Oh, really? Zodiac Barrage. Okay. Uh, that was a weird choice. I thought you were going to pick something that would, like, advance your engine a bit more. Uh, but so now all I've got to do with this card is literally just unload my hand. Um, hell yeah! That was a card! That was a card that was made, and it's used, being used right literally now. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this because uh, it's very possible for me to just do this uh, right now. Uh, so we will shuffle and draw, and I'm going to shuffle back all of these. I'm going to leave this one in grave, uh, just because I would like to have fuel for this, just in case I don't draw away to put this in grave. Uh, but, so that's a rat. That's actually, uh, it's kind of an irritating rat, because I was literally going to search rat off of the Balbaboon thing going on here, but I mean, I can put this back in my deck, never mind. I'm whining like a little bitch when I actually literally have the out literally right here on my board. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to use Baba Boon. I'm going to use it to draw two and then put two back on the bottom of my deck. One of those is going to be the rat. Um, so it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, but So these will just both get summoned in defense mode, not like they actually matter. Uh, just get to sculpt my hand a little bit. And so that'll be good to go. Uh, so we'll... Oh! Ooh, that card's absurd. Um, all right, place on bottom. Um, oh, I think I'm actually getting rid of the soul charge. Um, I am getting rid of the soul charge. I'm gonna place that on the bottom. Um, not that it matters. The deck is literally about to get shuffled, but at the same time, um, I can make VFD and I can negate his effects, um, or I can just make VFD and I can just pop it. <laughs> What a life. Um, but so what I'll do is, yeah, I'll just make Break Sword just because it's generically big. And then I'm going to make, uh, I can activate this, pop the uh, the Lithozasm, the, no, no, that's not Lithozasm, that's Bastard Man, that's Bastros. Um, Barastos. Barastos. Oh, so this day, Barastos. Um... But, uh, so what I get to do here, what I get to do here, man, yeah, is that I get to add the new, no, 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 um, which one is the one that puts spells? Do I have it in this deck list? I don't think I do. Nope. We fucking don't. All right. So we'll just get this. Because <laughs> I would have loved to have gotten the spell guy so I could get true Draco succession. That would have been the nut. Um... Uh, but so what I get to do is I get to summon this, uh, summon this guy, uh, just literally anyone will do. Um, any of these mans will do. This one. Um, and then so I'll make VFD, VFD will call, um, VFD will call fire. And that way I'll be able to destroy his El Thingo, uh, with my El Thingo. And then I'll also just be able to get cards off the field. So that'll be pretty neat. Alright, well he's using this now. 
so I guess I'll activate this. And this will allow me to search for some cards. Yes! Cards! Uh, so I'll just search this. Because I need another one. I don't have one in circulation. <sighs> uh, I do. It's under the VFD, but that's not where I want it to be. Uh, so yeah, getting this off the board, that's... I mean, that's actually... That's actually a problem. Um, didn't think about that. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, monsters in your opponent possession can't activate the effect. So why can't I activate the effect of this card? That's odd. Um, well, all right. Regardless, um, I'm just going to activate this to normal summon using a spell and trap. So this will go to grave. That'll be here. Don't want to use this. I can activate this to get it to get this stuff off the board. Um, so I can actually just get rid of this um, pretty effectively. So I'll get rid of this and I'll get rid of the break sword since apparently I can't activate its effect because this is target. This can't be targeted. I'm a fucker. Um, that's that's what I am. Uh, but so this this is just game, right? This is enough damage for game, right? Um, I definitely want to make a lot of changes to this deck list. <laughs> oh shit. I just cannot seem to draw this field spell, and when I do, my opponent has Ghost Ogre. Can't deal with that. But, anyway, I do like the concept of this deck. I like how it looks on paper. So, I mean, I'll probably be playing with this deck a little bit more into the future. Uh, depending on how that uh, sort of stuff goes, we'll see, how, uh, we'll see how that develops moving forward into the future. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description of my Facebook page, as well as a link to my Patreon page. If you want to directly support me, and as well as that, get in on some monthly giveaways. At the end of this month, specifically, I'm giving rid of a box of Raging Tempest, as well as, if things go well enough, if there's enough support there on the Patreon page, I will also be doing a second giveaway for a box of Fusion and Forces as well, because those are the two releases that are coming out this month that Konami has released. So, if things go well enough, I'll be doing two giveaways, but there will at least be one. If you want to get in on that, then definitely go check out the reward tiers on my Patreon page, as well as if you want to get access to my personal Discord server, which is where Canadian Courage came from. I talked to literally a group of like six other people, six or seven other people that have already donated on a daily basis, um, and they just ask me questions and we just talk and chat and just shoot the shit. So like if you're interested in that, then definitely go check out the Patreon page for the reward tiers, and also it would just be supporting me and supporting my ability to improve content and do stuff like live stream like locals or regionals or stuff well into the future. So advertisement over anyway let me know what your guys thoughts are on this deck in the comments down below and stuff like that and thanks for watching as i've already said thanks for your time as usual like comment subscribe all that nonsense and take care guys i will see you in the next video